fucking shitty, shitty fucking fedora and go eat a dick. Enjoy. Uh, 336, you're on the air. Kimmer, when are you going to get rid of these two losers? Who? When are you going to get rid of Curly, uh, fucking the, the Muslim Curly? Get them off the fucking show. Let's get some real people. Let's get some Americans on here. You sound Come like on. a fucking Stop retard. Nobody cares about your opinion. Get the heartland of America on your show. Stop I the heartland of America on your show. Get them off. Jimmer, 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 get them off. When are you going to get Jesus. some real get Americans on your show, Jimmer? And by the way, sweetie. I make a lot more money than you By the do, way, you sweetie. Fucking $2 more. No, you fucking don't. I make don't a lot more money. I'm in the medical you, what do you, profession. What do you do? I, I do you fucking cut? Do you work in the medical? You work in the medical? You work in the medical? My dad works in the medical profession. What do you do? Do you fucking milk cows? Good night. Goodbye. Six, wow. you're on the air. <laughs> oh, man. Kimmer, when are you going to get ready? Weaver, Weaver, Weaver. The birth of Weaver. And it is uh, my pleasure to um, wish a very happy 31st birthday to none other than... The one you just saw with uh, Matthew Weaver. Um... <laughs> we have video, we have archives, man, that we could pull up. But let me tell you something, man. We actually, this is BS. How do you know it's BS, Jessica Jade? Come on. It is not BS. Oh, no, no, no. I have put out the invitation to Goddess Yusako myself. Now, whether she accepts the invitation of calling in or coming into our Discord, that's up to her. But uh, we just want to take this moment in time to wish her a very happy 31st birthday, ladies and gentlemen. From 19 years of age last year in 2017 to become 31 years old in just one year is a tremendous feat. This is, I mean, talk about feet, right? Which is feet? Remember that? <laughs> I mean, this is absolutely a celebration of someone no let me be let me be truthful here okay let me be serious we have to be thankful for those who actually contributed to this year okay that is some that only happened less than uh when when did she leave in february february was the last time God, goddess yusaka was on air here and she was with us since the beginning of December. So, you know what? We have to give props to her. Even though a lot of you <laughs> did not like her and wanted her off, I actually uh, got a kick out of her. Uh, she was extremely entertaining, as you know. That was just one moment of many. And uh, you have to give props to these people. I hope... I really do hope, and I'm, I'm not fucking around here. I hope that she actually um, finds it in her heart to come back. Just, just a reunion. Just, just to talk and catch up and um, if she wants to. So the invitation is out, and, and that's all I have to say. Uh, so happy birthday to you. It's going to be May 31st, so... As soon as it hits midnight over there on the East Coast, which is almost an hour and 20 minutes away, uh, we will go ahead and sing her happy birthday. Okay, because she did give us a lot of memories. And I'm going to go live on air right now with the kitties here and Matthew Weaver, the star. A star was born that night, right, Weave? That's right, Weave. Hey, Jim, Jimmy Nam. Yeah, that was, that was my first call ever into your show. Well, well Billiam just joins, so Billiam, do you have any fond memories of the goddess Yusako? Some things you missed about Goddess Yusako. Remember when I sent her money and then she gave us a really sexy dance? Yeah. What's wrong with your phone, bro? That was hilarious. I'm driving, bro. Jesus Christ. Yes, I remember. Did you give you gave her twenty bucks or something like that, or twenty five? I don't even. Yeah. I, don't, was, I don't remember. I, I remember it was it was, it was 
20 or 25. Enough to, enough to give her weed, probably. Yeah. yeah, and she danced. She pranced around in this uh, uh, this f- U.S. flag uh, for, um, fucking outfit. Man, that's outfit. all you remember? Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. Remember she, actually looked, she actually looked good. So... Um, Jessica Jade is saying if Kitty's name was said on air that um, why is it? Oh God, Kitty! Well, why, <laughs> Jessica, why are you being mean to her, dude? <laughs> What's wrong with you, Jess? Come on, we're just having fun, and I I Jessica, came out. You and... better calm down. No, we, who who are you telling to calm down? You Jason. better calm down, Jessica. Oh, just saying. wow. That's some fighting words. Because you're fucking pissing me off. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. You're going to have to go on her show on tomorrow. Hold on, ASMR. Can I present the other side? Sure. I, I, you know me. I'm, I don't like goddess. Her, the other side is all these girls that do the cam in the industry. They, they don't want anybody's real name or information to be shared. That's that's the deal. I think whoa, that's whoa. what the deal. Is. That's that's a hundred percent the deal. But that is not right. fair. You know why? She goes no, on Gonzo not. shithead after she just either just days after we had a fucking fallout here. She True. goes out and she talks about my kids and she goes out and blasts me out on Gonzo Network. So how is that okay? Okay. And she's talking about my children's names, and how come I can't say her name? So fuck you. I don't give a fuck. Exactly, Jessica Jade. So, what the hell? Hey. Well, what if that happened to you, you know? Yeah, you tell me. She went on Gonzo two times. Two times spreading shit about me, saying that I sexually harassed her, all these fucking accusations, and then throwing my kids' names in the mud. Fuck that shit, man. I'll do whatever the fuck I want after that point. So, and I want you uh, to You're do lucky that. I'm barely I'm, dude, I'm saying your was, name. That was months ago, bro. Yeah, I don't care, but I mean, that's why I'm saying she, you know, if you're bringing it up that, hey, it's not fair that I'm bringing up her name. Well, hello. You not only did you bring up my name multiple times and you went on Gonzo and took a big shit on me after I fucking helped her out. Oh, no, she's got to bring my children into it who she doesn't even know. She got to drag in innocent children who are nine and 12 years old. But that's cool. That's all good. You know, you could go there on that platform with high pitch Eric fucking lurks and all those other fucks. I mean that's cool, criminals. But whatever I do, it's 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 considered doxing all of a sudden. When uh, all I said was her name, she knows my name. She says it all the time. No problemo. So a den of villainy and evil. I mean, talk about hypocrisy, you know. I mean, why are we even doing this show, Jimmer? It's just it just seems like just <laughs> unnecessary drama. No, because uh, look, I'm just saying that. I reached out and I said, "Hey, if you want to come on, it would be glad. I would be happy to have her on. And if she wants to come on, it'd be great. What's great about shows is you could have reunions of of past uh, people, you know. And, it's going to turn into a shit show, I think. <laughs> and we're not going to. I mean, any, it's not the entire respond show. To anyone? No, nope. she actually blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> that's a hard no. He's on Discord. So why don't you co- just come in here, Jessica? Come in here. Come on, hon. Monotone's in here if you want to talk. Because I, I can't read that, dude. It's a paragraph. People getting stalkers and names. And oh, yeah, like shit. I don't. I don't have people knocking on my door like this weekend. Fuck. They did the next day. They did it like uh, Brain put out a podcast or a broadcast on YouTube. And guess it what? Got, we got him banned. Taken down for bullying and harassment. Yeah, we got he him was fucking banned, bro. And bullying me. The very next day, he got he got his account taken down for bullying and harassing me. The video, not the account, but the I video. know we we got him taken down, bro. And you know what? He can't live stream for ninety days now. On yeah, YouTube. he can't live stream because he's bullying and harassing people. That's right. I thank our people. We went over there and fucking reported the shit out of him, letting him uh, know. Thank you too. Wait, wait, Audrey, get get in here because I'll explain to you what's going on. Uh, you know, Jessica, you need to come in here too. If you if you're gonna say shit, where's come, come Tara? In here. Tara's my girl. I love Tara. I'm not sure, but it's not I fair. Love Tara. Look, 
why is it okay for uh, i already explained this i don't even know how am i doxing anyone number one i want this explained to me i really I don't, don't know get okay. it well let's people. clear this up have you called people's mothers that i have done yes <laughs> okay well i don't think that's a big deal though yeah exactly Fuck it. he deserves it thank you i don't dox I don't put out people's social security numbers or their home addresses or fucking phone numbers. Well, unless to be they're fair, Jimmer, the night that the whole uh, Goddess Yusako <laughs> um, thing went down, you did have people giving, feeding you information, and you put it right up on the screen. Okay, so Jessica's ch chatting in the fucking thing. So, dude, Jessica, what the hell? Maybe she's working, Jimmer. Okay, that's fine. Just tell me you're working, we're good, and we'll talk another time. But, I mean, do you really have to, like, smash me right now over something that I haven't really done? What did I do exactly wrong? What did I do? Say oh, her name? This is not the way to to uh, attract them, Jimmer. I said her name? Okay. You know what? Uh, two, Why does she say my kid's name? Why does she have to go on Gonzo and blast the fuck out of me all the time? Why? Why is it okay to do that? That's okay, because maybe I'm not a sex worker, I guess. I mean, because I don't have sex. Ever. Right, Monotone? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't have sex other than I have Monotone has more, more sex Audrey, than I do. Audrey, too, and Jessica. No, we're about equal. No. Yeah, we're about equal, Jim. Jim you get more than I do. In, uh, in September, it's two years since I've had sex in September. Well, so mine's like equal. three and a half, bro. You better catch up. Okay, so Discord, yeah, I see it. You know what? Okay, fine. You, I don't know. This is bullshit. So, okay, so I'm the bad guy. I think I Everybody think the point else. is that you're supposed to be the bigger man, Jimmer. Bullshit. Bigger man and what? So I just allow my children to to uh, to get their names. Yeah, uh, you don't stoop. No, you don't stoop. You don't stoop to, to their level. You don't stoop to Who's their level. level? PC Who's, bullshit. Who's level? Who's level? The level of high pitched scum. What is they? What do? What do they have to do with anything right now? They this don't is a discussion have to do between God is you and level, myself, though, because he never gave out social security numbers. Yeah. No, but you put up criminal arrest records. No what? Oh, it's they're so public records. That's not doxing, dude. Yeah, that's public knowledge. Okay, so I guess the cam girls are not feeling safe because I'm going to dox them if, if they have a problem with me or something. Is that it? Is that what okay. I'm hearing? Really? Can I make a suggestion and you can either say yay or nay? Yeah. Just refer to us goddess, right? Can we do that? Not, well, or is what that, was that? Or is that something that's important? I don't know. I'm just... I did refer to her as God. I, 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 I didn't put her fucking name in the title. He has been referring yeah. to her as goddess. So when I refer to her, her name, okay. Yeah, just as long as you don't refer to her real name. Okay, so I guess I fucked up. You know why? Because she referred to my children's name, names, and I mean, they're I'm only nine saying, and that's twelve. That's saying. cool. I don't know if that's a that's big all deal, good, dude. I'm, I'm not trying to. And do oh, it on a platform. Judging you. Do it on a platform where they actually doxed me and put my fucking social security number out there, put my fucking address out there, put my fucking cell phone number out there. I mean, how would they like it if their children's names, their social security number, their fucking home address, their fucking cell phone numbers were out there? Then talk to me. It doesn't matter what kind of line of work yeah. you're doing. Who exactly. cares? I've never given out anyone's street address or anything like that not even really their phone number so i don't oh know what God. you're talking about so i guess my children can't get rape or assault or murdered yeah i i hope you're reading this Gemma. i i guess my children who are 9 and 12 because they're kids is, is all good because they're never going to get raped, they're never going to get molested, they're never going to get assaulted, and they're never going to get murdered, especially by people who have already doxed me. I guess that's not good. And then for Goddess to go on fucking Gonzo Network twice and expose me in a way 
making complete blatant lies about myself. You know, I guess that's okay because I'm not a fucking sex worker. Is that the situation? You know, then I am guilty, I guess. Right? Because I am not a sex. And my children, who cares about their fucking well being? They're only nine and 12. They, it's all good. Okay, so but how does how does blasting her name protecting your children? I didn't Audrey blast Spurs her name. Her names have her name has been out there. Okay, this wasn't a fucking stream to dox anybody, and it still isn't. So yes, it is. No, it's not. And if anything, I've reached out to Goddess and I've asked her if she wanted to come back on, and that was it. So I am not going to discuss it oh, anymore. Oh, she's worried I'm about done. herself. Oh, okay. All right. So then it's all good. <laughs> all I'm saying is let the rest of the community, including in the chat, please don't don't type a real name. If Jim or Nam wants to. I'm not saying him, a real name. I'm, I'm just saying you're you're kind of like, I don't know, you're you're getting involved. I don't let it, let them work it out. <laughs> all right well i you know what then i guess it's okay to to put out other children's minors information i guess that's okay that's what we're learning tonight is that uh putting out a nine-year-old a boy who has nothing to do with any of this shit but yet his fucking information's out there my son and then my other son who's 12 that's okay that's all right you know, because they're not in danger at all. They're not. You know, they're not in danger. So, because they can protect themselves. Nine-year-old and 12-year-old kids can protect themselves from shitheads who actually do doxing, who actually put out, who actually have a fucking lawsuit against them. Because I called somebody by their name when no, they've no, been no. calling me Jimmer, by my I, fucking I, legal name. I'm saying to everybody else is that here's what I'm saying. The poppy is, fields. I, I'm telling you their perspective. I don't necessarily agree or disagree. They're saying they all work in the same industry it's a code among them. They don't ever tell each other's real names and they support each other so that nobody starts doing it on anybody else. And they'll blackball. I understand that they'll blackball any girl that does it to another girl so they support each other that way. That's all they're saying. All I'm saying, that's between you and them because you have a, a dog in the fight because this girl obviously doxed you or and with your kids. All I'm saying, everybody else, including William and ASMR, this is not your fight. Just let them talk it out and don't. And I'm encouraging the chat and the Discord and YouTube, don't add to the shit and start typing her name in the chats. They were typing certain people, not a yeah, lot, yeah. were typing her name in, and that was stirring more shit up. That's all. That's all I was saying. The rest is that's between you guys. I mean, I I don't have a dog in the fight either. I'm just trying to pull. Yeah, but else doesn't out. mean doesn't mean that we can't contribute to this discussion. Okay, well you got you got girls on the Discord that are ready to just pull the plug and not participate in. Well, well that's Jim fine. has been trying to get them in to talk about it, but they they're haven't working. come in. Billion, they're both working. They all can't. right, so then why chat? Why chat when when I can't when I'm trying to do a show? All right. Look, I've already explained this shit. So if you don't agree with me, then all right, then cool. We're all good. Just leave. It's all good. You know? I'm all right with that. If you're okay with a nine-year-old and 12-year-old kids, minors, being pretty much doxxed, you want to know what doxing is? Well, let me get your social security and blast that shit out. Let me give your fucking home address because they know where my fucking kids live and blast that shit out. Yeah. And let's see how you feel when that happens, when your kid's name gets out there, when your fucking parents' names get out there, when your sister's name, because my sister's name yeah. has been doxxed. So fuck that shit. So let's see how you yeah. feel at the time. And then you tell me. Okay, because of your profession, you're in more danger than I am, and you're in more danger than my my fucking sister is, because you don't know what my sister does. You don't know what my children. It's okay oh for God. their address to be That's fucking exactly doxxed. exactly what I've been going through, dude. Just because exactly. you're maybe in the sex industry, okay? 
All right. Well, I guess you're in a fucking different industry than I am. I'm in the fucking human race for some reason. I don't look at myself as some worker doing this or that or this. I just look at myself as a human being. So if you feel it's okay for nine-year-old and 12-year-olds and, and, and people that are innocent, like my sister who has done nothing, she's just minding her own business, trying to live her own life, yet her name gets blasted, her fucking social gets blasted, her address oh, gets blasted, please. that's okay. But when, when, when I do something, like I haven't even done anything, to be honest with you, all I said was her name, then all of a sudden there's a big issue there's a big problem there when she was up on gonzo tw twice preaching everything against me putting me in a bad light where my kids watch this kind of shit. yeah they watch this show and they and, and their friends watch okay their older friends watch so they're going to go report back to my kids with this fake sexual, of, I don't know, th this harassment allegation bullshit. That's okay, though. That's okay to be tarnished like that to a 9-year-old and a 12-year-old who doesn't understand this kind of type of bullshit fucking trolling. That's okay, though, because I'm not in the sex industry. So because I'm not, you know. I don't have I any rights. Gonna turn into a shit show. My children don't have any rights. Nobody has rights. Only if you're I a cam like... girl or somebody else, maybe. Maybe then you have rights, I guess. I don't know. Explain it to me because I don't see anything. I just see us as regular fucking people, human beings trying to live life. <laughs> no, I, mean, I know where the guy works. I'll find him. I don't know. What have we done here? Uh, on air. What have we done so far within this community within five months? What have we done? Not only did we help Wendy the retard whenever she needs, we got her th how many? How much money? Three hundred dollars in two days. We got um, her a lot more than that on a GoFundMe. Just in two days, we got, got like her three hundred bucks last weekend. I mean, so I, I guess we're doing something wrong here. You know, I guess we're just not. You know, yeah, yeah, because Gonzo and all them, I mean, all the other podcasts out there, they do that. You're right? not bullying other podcasts enough. You well, have to beat up on every other podcast out there. I, I, yeah. guess, I, I guess I'm getting a big shit for supporting something that I, I, I believed in. I, I, you know how many times I've interviewed cam girls and I've told them how much respect I have for them, for their entrepreneurship and all this stuff. And then some Girl comes along, goddess Yusaka. Now, do we have to even revisit that? How many times this person has put down every fucking person, no matter what even industry the they're in, even with Weaver talking about he's, did you want me to replay that shit? That's okay. Because we human beings, because we're not in the sex industry, uh, according to them, uh, I, I, I guess we're nothing. We mean nothing. You know, because yes. we do no good. You know, like I've I done nothing but dox don't mean people. Nothing. I think it's just she's trying to be protective for her own industry. Which what I, did I do? I, but how how is it affecting her okay, directly? Gosh. What is it that is affecting her tonight, specifically tonight? What the fuck is is really affecting her tonight? What I don't understand. Am I missing something here? The only thing I took from it was they have a kind of a code and whatever, whatever you say, I don't know where. What about the human code? What about, you know, oh, I agree not with you. fucking that's putting your, the kids' names out there and their social kids. security that's numbers? Different ball games, so. From the first yeah. day that fucking Jack called in and, and, and I, I bitched him out on air because he called, he called into what? my show saying I couldn't do any shows when they're doing shows because I was doing a, a simultaneous show while Gonzo and High Pitch Eric were doing a show. So he called me and yeah. I, I quit. And then you know what happened that night? Guess what, man? I got people coming to my house. I got fucking uh, my fucking social security number docs the very yep. next fucking morning. I it. So, you know, it, it, I man. took a lot of I took a lot of shit, man. And I still do from this fucking motherfucker you know, fat face shithead Jeff Henson and Jack Nugent. You know what I'm realizing tonight, Jimmer, is that you and I, we've been harassed just about as much by those assholes. You and I, we've been harassed about as much. So other people don't understand 
because they didn't get harassed that much. You and I, we got harassed as much by GPN. I mean, my sh my fucking kids' names were on your fucking scrolling Gonzo Podcast Network. I know. Like, and you know, Not my scrolling, for, dude. For I weeks. have nothing to do with it. I only no, ever I know that. to have my own show. I already I know who to do who, with it. I know who's behind it. I already know, but yeah. I'm just saying, you know. But for some reason, I was trying to protect everybody on air talent here who didn't want to get involved. But all of a sudden, I, I guess I'll just take all the shit now. You know, it's okay. I'll sacrifice my children and their safety and their well-being because their location has been fucking uh, compromised. Uh, that's okay. You know, they know exactly where my kids live. That's all right. Let me right. ask you, Jimmer. I'm just curious because I don't know. When's the... When, what's the last thing with uh, uh, Goddard? Goddard. The last correspondent. I, I haven't been following it. I have no idea. Back in February. Okay, so th there's yeah. nothing Whoa. recently, but I get it. I mean, I, it's still, yeah, I get it. Yeah. And I have nothing against her, you know? I let That's bygones be got bygones. Earlier. I was enjoying it. I only did the stream to, somebody said, hey, it might be cool if we did a retrospect. Like, we kind of like, looked back and you know because it's her birthday tonight i guess in 10 oh, minutes we're we still gonna sing her a happy awesome. birthday song in 10 minutes you know got us all going out so somebody uh, took it wrong came in here blasted me and said i'm the doxer for some reason i don't even know what the fuck i did a today lot of people say against you jimmer i think your enemies always say that you do what they do because all right, well, I haven't, what am I I haven't to do? seen you do what they do. I haven't seen you release anybody's social security numbers or any of that shit. They don't know Jimmer, man. It's a fucking man. Canada is so PC. That's all I have to say. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, just try to be in my shoes where your kids' information's all out there. I'm talking about social, <laughs> their fucking home address. Dude, I'm 3,000 3, miles away from my children. <laughs> I, I can't go over and protect them like this physically, you know, and pe they live closer over there th than I do to them, but it's okay wow. though. Cause they're not sex workers according to somebody over there, you know, because, uh, only sex workers are protected for some reason. There's a code there, but there's no code for fucking children, nine and 12, uh, that get blasted with their home addresses and shit when I'm not even fucking there. Out of here. Kitty's quiet. What the fuck? Yeah. I'm, I'm the only I, one talking tonight. I, I gotta hear Kitty. Kitty, <laughs> what is your view on all this? Can you please comment? What is my view? Yeah, just on what's going on. <laughs> oh, by the way, Kitty. Kitty, what do you are mean? You... Like, what is <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Kitty, are you using your headset? No, it sucks. Oh, man. All right, return that um, shit and get something better. Beats, the, the, get beats. Your view on this whole thing that we're talking about. About like, <laughs> doxing? Yeah, about <laughs> well, I'm anti doxing. Um, I'm just curious what your what your thoughts are on this. Uh, I mean, but, I don't. <laughs> you don't have to come into this conversation. It's yeah, I just don't know. I mean, it's not really. It's something I stay away from. I don't. Um, I don't, you know, it's just not something I do or think is right, but, um, you know, not really, you, you know, four, two, four, you're up. Hey, but, uh, you know, it's the, thing guy. The, hold on. the thing with the cam girls is like, if you have kids and stuff, maybe this is not the right place for you to be doing this. Like, maybe you should be hiding yourself more if you have kids and you have stuff to worry about like that. 424, you're up. Hey, Jimmer. Um, dude, your show was dragging, so I thought I'd call back. Uh, All right, cool, but thanks. I to you're, about you're dragging. <laughs> I hung up on him. God. Oh, Let me dox him real quick. <laughs> 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 Are you all right? What was that? <clears throat> you feeling okay, Jimmer? No, I'm a little disappointed, to say the least.
But, you know, whatever. It's all good. Chandler, about- I'm always going to be on your side. Disappointed about what? Because <clears throat> you are right. I don't know. Well, I don't know what the fuck I did. I mean, I took a lot Zero. of shit for since December. So I don't know. Man. You're an Asian privileged man. I'm with the one who's getting sued. No Dope. one else is getting fucking sued out there except um, some of the main players. I'm the one that was getting sued. Shit still pending. So, I mean, for uh, sticking Nothing. up, I mean, uh, look at Wendy. Uh, she's happy. I mean, she's been messaging me today, but fuck it, man. I guess I'm doing something wrong here. Everybody else is, I mean, maybe I'm in the wrong industry. Maybe I need to be in the sex industry, I guess. Because uh, they're, dude, they're safe the for up. some because, reason. Because, look, I saw the beginning of what you were harassed with. I know I always go back to GPN. But GPN beat you up, and they're a bunch of assholes. Fuck them. You're the hey, best, it's not dude. even GPN, you're, you're man. Doing your own thing. Dude, I'm getting Just fucked like over. Dude, I'm telling you, Matt, I'm not only GPN, I'm getting fucked over by other places, man. Uh, look at look at the battles I've had with Saiyans and fucking this unbleached motherfucker and Radio Report and all these fucking Fuck people on Twitter bleach. putting all my fucking information out there. I mean, okay, well, I, I, you know what? I guess I'm in the wrong uh, industry because it's okay to fuck me over and my children, but I, I don't know. Can I, I say something? I, I agree. You you have a, a legitimate beef. You know, if it were me, yeah, I'd feel the same way. I mean, I'd do I the same if I were you, Gemma. Yeah. I mean, this stream wasn't even meant to uh, even be what Jessica made it out to be. Like I guess she, she probably saw the title of the stream. That brought her in, and then... You know, because, that's where because she doesn't guess, watch anything I mean, I else know. we do, but I again, mm-hmm. I, whatever, dude. And look at this tweet that she put up, it's ridiculous. What the fuck did I do? You didn't do anything. What's the I mean, tweet set? This is okay to, to tweet this out. Um, you know, Audrey, God you damn know, it, you swinging dicks. I want pussy. Me too. Oh, there. <laughs> no, so, do I. No. so Audrey there she is. There's all I pussy. said was this was a uh, it was a birthday bash for goddess Yusaka and then Audrey who doesn't know goddess kind of not really said happy birthday she put a little thing here Jif and of course, Jessica chimes in. Oh no, it's not a birthday party. It's a doxing party. So no, it is really okay. I love you, well, Prince newbie. I mean, thank you for saying it's a doxing party because, wow, you just put me on like publicly. You're just making me look like a fucking doxer. Then, so why are you here? Then, then fuck it. Well, I'm maybe not gonna engineer- you so- need to just. Get I'm not doing shit tomorrow. Yes, yeah, maybe. I mean, don't call me tomorrow then, you know? Maybe and don't expect is, the show tomorrow. I'm done, Jessica. Sorry. I'm done, dude. This you, is the you, end. You, you, this Please, is not the first you time. Cleanse and, this is not you the know. first time. So if you don't like it, then leave, dude. I guess I haven't done anything for you and good. That's fine. And I wish you well. That's it. All right. So bye. Well, I'm Jessica's done. Jessica's out, man. What do you want yeah, me Jessica's to do? Out. Bye, That's fine. Let's don't be coming in here. To... Sage stick. I mean, don't come cleanse. in. Don't come in here when I when I actually reached out to Goddess and try to get her back for a birthday reunion. So I'm being a baby. All right. Oh, it's so... a doxing party, apparently. All right. So I guess Tara's not going to be on our side because her her, Jessica. her boyfriend is saying I'm a baby. So how am I a baby? Exactly, General Boner. <laughs> All right, so I guess uh, you know I give up, dude. Maybe helping wait, wait, out people and trying to do something here, and maybe it's not the right way to go. Maybe I need to go a different direction, you know. And uh, go go to Sands, go to Unbleach, because I'm sure they actually fucking, um, you know, respect the industry and all that shit. I guess I don't know. I have no respect for women. You know, what am I supposed to do? You know, it's okay f- to, for them to shit on me publicly, I guess, with, with Jessica. 
I mean, this is like <laughs> basically shitting on me, saying I'm doing a doxing party. Really? Uh, that's what I'm doing right now? Really? That's what I'm Jimmer, doing? I wouldn't. <laughs> Jimmer, don't feed into it. Just let it go. I don't know. This is not the first time. That's why I'm, I'm kind of fed up. Go. I'm kind of fed up um, being treated like this. Like I'm some sort of, a, you know, you're not the one with the fucking five Stop million dollars. Running away the pussy. Don't make this into a sausage party. You know, we nobody, need nobody here. We no, need vagina. You know, who's the one that has a, a, a fucking their name on their loss and a, on a lawsuit worth five million dollars? Yeah. You know. All right. I don't know. Uh, horrible I don't stuff. know. Fuck it, man. So don't start with. All right, then go follow. Go follow Jessica, dude. She can do whatever she wants. No one's put a gun to her head. I I appreciate everything she's done over here. If she's done, then she's done. I'm good. You know what? It's okay if she's done. I'm done, dude. I'm fucking done. How about that, dude? I'm done. No more Zimmer Dam? No. What? No more Zimmer Dam show? Okay, so I got me, Truck Mike, still no, talking. that's not Your what he's saying. Left you because yeah. you're a loser. Okay. All right, good. Jimmer, get the fuck back. What are you doing? You're crying over cam girls. Come on back, buddy. <laughs> get over it. Come on, Jimmer. You're going to have to really cheer him up, Kitty, when he comes back. Stop crying over cam girls. That's why I was trying to pull you in, Kitty, because... I, I know, but I don't want to get involved with this, because, like, I don't... This is. Well, not I know, I just wanted a female, female perspective, because all the females left, except for you. <laughs> hey, guys. Where did you right, Where did you meet your How wife? You doing, Tara? <laughs> Hang on. What you do is we have Tara in the gym. <laughs> Welcome, Tara. Is this, did Jimmer leave for the night? This is the after show, I'm assuming? Uh, we don't know show. what happened to Jimmer. He just disappeared. <laughs> He's sad. I, was I had a couple models, Tara. like, I had a couple models that were going to do, like, man, what happened tonight? I had a couple girls that were, like, going to, I was going to hook them up with Jimmer after I came back from um, visiting my brother. And they're like, oh, fuck, no, not after this shit. Like, I can't believe the shit that he pulled in. I like, what happened? Didn't pull anything. All of these models pulled out. There's three girls that were like, fuck Jimmer. Well, he didn't pull anything. It's, it's bullshit. It's a something on Twitter and Jimmer got <laughs> And then I guess Audrey says she was bailing. <laughs> Yeah, I think Jimmer feels the most bad because his intentions were a thousand percent on this, and I believe that, and that's why he feels kind of insulted because he feels like people yeah. don't know him better by now, that he wouldn't do that sort of thing. And given on her name, it wasn't like, hey, that's go find out this chick. Like, no, it's not at all. Everyone, like everyone who wanted to find out, I'm sure could have found out. It doesn't really help. <laughs> it doesn't put them in danger. And then the other thing is was the lack of empathy of realizing that hey. They did this to my kids, but as soon as they do it to you, or or I do it to someone like that, you guys have a bigger problem. That's what pissed like me off kind of about them. But, but, mm, uh, at the same I think time, they're, uh, we're in the right place too. It was all. Like, I think it was place. equally as bad. Them mentioning his kid's name and him mentioning uh, their names, but um, if I remember right, when all that was happening, Jimmer was pretty drunk that night and he provoked a lot of shit from them like it wasn't like oh they just jumped his shit and then he retaliated like that was a shit fest that night yeah, but i don't On understand why points. you got so mad tonight i don't understand i don't get it um i guess i guess because he uh, was giving out personal information and uh Somebody called him out on that, and so he's no, he wasn't, that he's so he he wasn't giving out personal information. It's bullshit. This was brought up from before, and everybody got butt hurt. And, like, we did getting pissy in chat and did some, you know, let's play, let's accused, play. Accused him on Twitter. Come back, Jenna. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so is kind of the only one that gets it when it comes to cam girls, like. I mean, Kitty, you're not even a cam girl, and and I'm pretty sure you'd be pissed if Jimmer said your real name on air, and it's just yeah, your name. So it technically wouldn't be doxing, but 
Why are you guys pulling me into this? Like, I, I don't know, Jessica. No, I'm not pulling you into it. I'm just saying, like, you could understand. I think we that all you, nobody really wants their like their shit put out there. And yeah, I I don't like to do the just idea of doxing, but I don't know why Jimmer didn't dox anybody tonight. I don't know why it turned into this. It doesn't. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see any of. Yeah, it. I, think I don't know what the, the fuck point. anybody's talking about. I think it's the point of continuously bringing back, like bringing back up her and including her personal information every time. We I never think that's told anyone like... her personal information. Let me talk to Tara, okay. please. Hi, Tara. Jim, hey, you're back. Hey, what happened tonight? Okay. I don't know. I mean, look, Jessica's been on my case for a while, but I don't know. Just for some reason, she just came in here. Talking a bunch of shit, tweeting shit out, saying it's a doxing party and stuff like that, which is not the case. I actually reached out to fucking goddess, you know, whether she accepted or declined. That's her. That's her thing, I, you know. So, look, would Jessica feel? Would she be okay with me talking about her son's name? Just her son's name. Just putting her son's name out there. The first name. Would she be happy about that? But she's okay with God is going on to Gonzo Podcast. You know, she came here and... and, and I don't think she's okay with either of it. But I think that the point that she's trying to make is that that is long over and done with. And they don't like continuously bring it back up every other week just for when a bit I, and, I, and throw I out it, your kids' information every other week. Like, I think her point is let it die. Is I think what her point is. No, here's the thing. Somebody in the community asked me, hey, Goddess's birthday's tonight. Let's celebrate. Let's do a kind of retrospective. I played a whole clip with Weaver. The first time Weaver called. Jesus Christ, Monotone. The first time Weaver called in into the show and with with um, Goddess. And I actually invited her. And whether she was going to call in or not, I probably not. But if you wanted to, that would have been cool. That was it. That was the whole point of tonight. But her to call in a doxing party and then come in and chat and basically shit all over me about something I didn't even do, saying I'm doxing and all this shit. Yeah. I mean, what am I supposed to say? And, and look, I just fired back with, dude, this person, if you want to talk about doxing, this person doxed my entire family. And I know Jessica, she would not like it if if her child's name was out there. You know, don't tell. I, I don't think care she about sees what industry all, you're in. All of it is doxing, and I think she sees all of it as equally horrible. But I think that her problem tonight was that that's all been, like, dead for, like, months. But the goddess thing, you just, like, keep bringing up her name, keep, like, saying her real name, and her birthday's on here now, like, all you need is her name and you can find her now. And for models, like I don't, models choose to have model names for a reason. Like they don't, they don't just like use their real name because when you have people who like either they fall in love with you because they've been paying you for, you know, seeing them on the internet all this time, or they get attached to you because they're lonely anyways. And that's why they're even on a site or, uh, they just, they just get mad because maybe you just blew them off or whatever. Like guys, guys do some crazy shit. Not all guys, but the crazy ones is the reason that models have to use a, like a model name for me. Example, an ex-boyfriend of mine posted my cam link publicly on his profile. So when somebody looked up my old model name, it it brought them to his Facebook, which showed them my whole Facebook, everything about me. That guy showed up at my house and came into my house and cornered me in a bedroom. And my neighbor happened to see this guy walk into my house and and called the cops and they, they came and arrested him. And I had to move away from that place. Just because he got my name, I know. But like, how about not, my children? How about my children? It's not the fact that you said it in retaliation to you know, like neither neither of them's cool. Neither of it's cool. It's it's bullshit that they brought up your kids, and 
which we get, which we get goddess why was you a part would, of, you know, a big part of, by and the respond way. the way that you did, but bringing it up over and over and over again, that's where Jessica has the problem. I like, didn't bring anything done, up over and over again. See, she, she got this entire night wrong, incorrect. It was actually a celebration, and I've talked about it. If she watched from the beginning, I even mentioned how much I was appreciative of what Goddess contributed to the show early on. She was one of the pioneers of this show. And it was like, I would love to have a reunion with her. I would love for her to come back. That's what I said. But Jessica doesn't mention that shit for some reason. And then all of a sudden, it's like you're talking about, okay, I get it. People's private lives. But they got, Goddess was a big part of having my kids names out there having their addresses having social security numbers out there she was a big part of that as far as like getting it into gonzo land okay so you know if you haven't been in my footsteps i mean like you haven't been in my shoes and what i've been through for the past few months and then she's you know i've tried to protect everybody on air talent that's been on here um people have on air have told me have been hiding behind me because they didn't want to confront this thing and i understand it i didn't want anybody else to get involved so if she's uncomfortable with that i'm just saying like she would not be happy and and i'm talking about professions aside because look a nine-year-old and 12 year old who has their fucking entire address out there it's out there okay doxed you know i'm not telling everybody where fucking goddess lives or anything like that but i understand your point okay but I'm just saying tonight was not that sort of that wasn't my objective tonight. And she just came in here and bombarded with all this stuff. It was just out of left field and she wasn't listening to the whole context of it. Go I would encourage everybody to go listen back to what I was saying from the beginning. So I don't know where this whole doxing party came. That's so, what I don't understand. I was writing while and listening to you the whole time and I never heard anything like that. So I don't understand how this even yeah. gotten started. I I only like I tuned in in the first like five minutes. I know you said her her actual name and then I had to tune out because I'm working. So I didn't get to see anything after the first little bit there with Weaver and Goddess replay. And within the first five or ten minutes, you said her you said her name. So I'm assuming she got that far into it and said, oh, here we go again. But well, I this all seen, occurred in chat. I haven't chat. seen the whole thing, so I don't know. All right, well, this I this mean, all occurred in chat. I'm not going to deny I didn't say her name. I did say her name. You know? I think that's just. I think that's the the point she's trying to make, though. Like, if you're going to bring up Goddess, like, okay, bring her up and say what you got to say, make fun of her or whatever. Just don't bring up her real name anymore. Like, let that part of it fade away. It would be like Amazing. goddess. It would be like goddess continuing to stream and bringing up Jimmer's kids every other week and saying the kids' names. And I haven't done it every other. I mean, this is the first time in a long time, and so it's been a while. A viewer has well, actually, yeah, but asked just me like to do a show to, to, to make to, the point, like just to keep bringing it up over and over. You know, a, a viewer asked me. As someone who's watched for a long time didn't even want asked to me to do this show, and I thought it was a great idea. We could do a retrospect sort of a memory lane. Hey, the birthday and thing I think it. is hilarious, and I would have probably done it myself. I'm just saying, like, just let her let her real name die. Let her just be Goddess Yusaka. Just because it does connect, just because it does connect her cam life with her personal life, it's just kind of dangerous for I think Jim and M is upset because he Jessica did should know know him by now that he wouldn't do that kind of thing and that he was that wasn't his intention and he didn't like the way she went about it. But I hear your side too. Yeah, I think Jessica just kinda of holds Jimmer to a little bit higher standard because she does know him so PC. But I mean that that like I didn't even know about that until people just now told me because I I came in because a couple of the girls that like had spoken to Jimmer about doing a show previously, like I spoke to them two days ago and uh, we were talking about, you know, getting them back on the show and kind of uh, getting them in on girls night or whatever. And uh, like me and Jessica and Audrey were all linked on Twitter, like 
anything that those models talk to me about, they're going to see, like, we're all linked. So they saw, they saw the exchange with Jessica and tuned into the show and they, they backed out. They said, and they don't, they don't want to do a show where if he gets their information, he could come up. See, and I try to explain to him, like, he that's, doesn't dox that's people. Like, that you don't understand the am. whole story. And they're like, yeah, I just don't want to take a chance. Because for yeah, them to first come in, that's their first impression. Well, look at what she tweeted, Tara. This is what she tweeted. You know, this is what Jessica tweeted on the screen. Oh, no, it's not a birthday party. It's a doxing party. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what that, you're going to see. Why don't you say that to me? About it. But why don't you say that to me in I mean, private? That's her if that's how you feel. So why okay, make so more that's drama. Yeah. No, but you're saying like, okay, it, it it kind of like sways other people around. I mean, if that's who I am, I'm a doxer, I guess, then okay, then Jessica, you got to go. You know, then if you're not comfortable with that, I would never go attack Jessica. Jessica has none. If anything, I'm, I'm very grateful for what she's done so far. You know, I'm very, very grateful. I'm grateful to you. I'm very grateful even to Audrey, who's been here shorter than you have and Jessica, but still. You know, but if, if it's not your, because this is not everyone's cup of tea. This is like putting yourself out there. You know, if anything, I've showed a lot of respect to you guys as far as like your entrepreneurship and all that. But, you know, there's a line where it's like, dude, uh, you know, I'm putting myself out there and everybody who comes on air, they're going to put themselves out there eventually. People are going to get shit and that's it. Just get ready for it because. I mean, I'm telling you, I don't know how many battles I'm fighting and I'm constantly, even within this group, I'm, I'm fighting, you know, battles, but I'm getting it from all angles, you know, and it's just, it, I don't know how else to explain it. If, look, if Jessica feels that way, I, sh I think she, look, I don't think I could even actually do a show anymore for her you know because i don't want to put her in any position that that she doesn't feel comfortable in because if she strongly feels like she's not comfortable you know then it's not for her you know ask, and it's okay Sarah, that's did you totally ever fine you I from this show ever help you or do you know if jessica i've ever never made a promotion? dollar from any kind of cam work period from the show i will say that i was helped because um Havoc and I, know uh, that, yeah. I will say that yeah, there those people definitely helped me. But as far as like uh, work is concerned, no, this isn't like a free advertisement thing. The people, the group of people that come to this, they don't they don't go to cam girls for shows. Like that's it's not okay. really no, it's just, advertisement. Just a quick question, like that. That's all. No worries. And I don't know if I would even go as far as to call Goddess Usako a cam girl. She's fucking psychotic. She, she does, that's a whole different story. It's, does it that's have, a whole nothing different to do genre with, of sex she's work. She's crazy period. as fucking hell. But she's so about. Wait, hold on. Hold, on. hold, hold the fuck on. No wait, wait. Shut up, it. Travis. God damn it. But no, it's okay. Well, did it? she, she was wait, sending wait, hold on, hold money on. and stuff too. Like she uses her. No, hold on. But it's okay for Goddess Yusako. That's a private right. transaction. No, Kitty. but it's okay for Goddess Yusako to tell Jeff Henson my kids' names. No, That's we're okay, not though. saying that it is, Jimmer. Oh. We're not saying it is. We're saying really? that that is equally God's as bad. Equally. That is just as bad, if not worse. Yeah. We're saying right. that it's not okay that Goddess did that, and it wasn't cool even to begin with. And we get why you reacted the way that you did. Like we totally understand that you reacted the way that you did. It's the point of continuing to bring up her name over and over and over again. So every new person you That's have come in here can look her up again and every model that you bring in that brings more of her her traffic from that side of the streaming world there's another chance for somebody who's obsessed with goddess or pissed off that goddess was a bitch to her bitch to them to find out personal information about her it's it's the continuing to keep bringing it up not not the initial reaction that you had and we don't agree that she ever like should have brought up your children in any form or fashion like neither of those are cool it's not cool either way yeah we, we understand why you reacted the way you did like any parent would have reacted the way that they did 
Yeah, because she went Jessica's on. I think Jessica's just saying on two separate occasions, but it's just all let good. it go. Look, I, like I don't know. I didn't really repeat this shit, so <laughs> let it Thomas go. Is the one that told Jeff your kids' names. Jessica, oh, you might have to turn on push to talk for this channel. Hey, hey boo boo. Hey, Hi, can you guys hear me? Hey, Hi, Jessica. Hey. Hello, Jessica. So, so I'm not really sure what's been said or what's going on. I just my DMs have been flooded from everybody. Um, all I know is that I was in the show for like 15 minutes, and I just asked that Jeremy Nam stop using Goddess's real name, and so I'm not sure what happened after that, but that. That's my only concern. I never, ever, ever said that what Goddess did to anybody in this community was correct, especially Jeremy Nam or his family. And I've always said, even to Jeremy Nam specifically, that it's never okay to bring someone's family or their mother or their sister or anyone into any of this, especially kids, above all. All and I mean, I was the first one to stand up to Goddess before anyone else when Goddess went after Kitty and said she was ugly and fat and homely and a million other things. Right, I was the first down. one to go toe to toe with her. It's I'm okay. not. No, I'm not upset. Yeah, I'm we, just, we, we got your back. We, we got. We understand, Jessica. It's Honestly. it's not about Goddess. It's about just doing the right thing and not putting someone's safety in jeopardy. I don't know why that is such an issue of just being a good person and doing the right thing. And I don't know why that then, you know, puts my own character into question that I'm doing something wrong by asking not to put her safety in jeopardy. You know, in this industry, if we don't stand up for each other, no one else will. Um, so that's all I asked. And now apparently Jeremy Nam is attacking me. When I started with this channel, there was like 600 subscribers. And, you know, I was here because it was fun and I loved everybody here. Um, you know, if he doesn't want me to be here, that's fine. I we love you, Jessica. Well, yeah, I love Jessica. you guys. But if he doesn't want me to be here, that that's fine. I, I that's just want to know why you be. just took a humble dig at me and like, just like had to like mention all these insults that goddess like why do you keep bringing my name up why did you have to like bring up all the insults that just seemed like a very like humble dig and i find it to be no. really offensive and rude jessica. oh kitty no, I'm not, Je I'm just... I, can, I can speak to that jessica was referring to the fact that she was fighting for you before always like jessica that's what she was bringing I always up. defended Kitty until she started disrespecting everyone in the I never industry and giving low-grade digs to me every time I wasn't around. I saw every single one on air. And then when you started disrespecting my friends like Tara constantly or anybody that I would bring here, okay, uh, well, like Ivy about, Adams, that's about me. So I just wanted to share my feeling about that. But like, this isn't about me. So no, it's not. what you're talking about. It's not about you at all. I'm just saying, like, you know, that I was the first one to stand up to her before anybody took an issue with Goddess. I did. I, it's not about Goddess as a person or thinking that she did the right or the wrong thing. It's about Jim and Am doing the right thing. Have your stupid birthday party, but just d don't mention her real name. I don't understand why that's a problem or why that puts my own character into question. In the adult industry, I have... Like literally, Jessica, that probably was only 15, air footage. fifteen stalkers. I have a guy that creates a new social media account literally every single day, who emails me probably six times a week. Uh, and I see that words. And he is a uh, super obsessive. He, like that guy's crazy. If hey, he Jessica, ever got any of my personal Jessica, information, that was recorded material. And Jessica, as far as Goddess goes, please understand, everybody knows who Goddess is that's in here. Anybody that's been here from day one. And they, they're the ones that start typing her name in chat. And once they start typing her name in chat, everybody starts typing it. It's, it's, it's impossible to control at this point. There's no way to stop that with Jessica. With, I understand uh, it, but Jim Renev started this whole show by saying her real name. That's, that's all. not true. That was the intro to the show, was him was saying not, her legal that was name. Not, See, you weren't watching from the beginning. I, I didn't say her name I until was. later. No, so, so it was you didn't watch. Yeah, you do watch the first like, five minutes. Yeah, 
You do say her no, first. The first you do five say minutes her real name it. immediately. That no, was the, the whole the, the whole intro to the show was her the tape of her and then you saying happy birthday real name. And that was how the show no, started. I, I did that say a real name eventually. Show. That's why I said it's mm-hmm. not a birthday party. It's a doxing party. Because that was the first thing you said. That was Rewatch not the first the thing tape. I said. Play it right now. Okay, I can play it, I guess, if you want me to. Four. I mean, yeah, and, and, when did I say it? The did. first five so minutes? Just... He's just getting in front of it because it's going to happen. I mean, Everybody knows semantic. her real name. They're going to say well, it in but... chat. It's just something that's, there's nothing to do to avoid it at this point. She's, she's, and I, ag- I get that. I agree. But then why even have this show? <laughs> like, why? Because, what, what's, what was because the point? Because you don't know, you didn't understand the, the objective of it. The the objective was it was I reached out to Goddess. I asked her it would be great to have a reunion show. Whether she wanted to accept that or not, that's up to her. I would love to have her. And I guess you missed my entire sort of speech when I actually thanked and I appreciated what she'd done. I heard she that. was here from but, the But uh, what I heard first was you say her real name and that's the only thing I took object that's the only thing I had a problem with. But, and that's but, all but I said. And somehow okay. this turned into a whole something that's about you be, me having a problem with your kids or me having being okay with people doxing your kids. That's not it at all. I just can't support anybody's uh real name being revealed, whether it's Kitty, whether it's Goddess, whether it's Tara, whether it's Audrey, whether it's Kenny. You know, like, that's not right. And the internet's a scary place. We don't know what could happen. Any See, of us, whether you're, you're in you're, the adult industry or not. What, what I have if an issue with is you're in the adult industry, you're, you have a bigger target on your head. What I have an people issue fall with. fall in love with us every day. That's what we do for a living. We make people fall in love with us. Like What I have an issue is with is that you're putting my, my fucking public image out there that I'm a doxer, that all I do is throw doxing parties, which is incorrect. That was not the objective of tonight. And you turned it into that on Twitter, making it public. And that's what I have a problem with because you don't understand that. I've, I, I've actually reached out to Goddess to see if she wanted to come back on because people were asking me behind the scenes, viewers, that they, they thought it would be a good idea because it's her birthday that I actually do a sort of uh, remembrance of her, of all these things that she's done and created and cl- all the content that she's created. I've reached out to her. So I don't know, like when you blast me out on uh, on a public forum where I'm getting blasted from every angle with my children's information out there with their, how would you like it if your children's information were out there? You well, know, obvi- you wouldn't like that at all. Would you, you know put yourself in front that, of it or your ki- kids? And you're the one who are you trying to real protect? name out there and you've done it over and, tr- over and over and over again. Over and over and over again. So when was the last time I've actually done this? Because she's done, uh, she's put my children's name out there. So how do you explain that? She put my children's name out there to Jeff Henson. So how do you explain that? Would you be forgiving as forgiving to somebody who's actually put your no. uh, kids' names out there? Would you be no, forgiving? But- what was the point? So why of the are show? you asking me to be forgiving? Well, when did she last do that? When did she last do that? Did she doesn't do it matter yesterday? when she, the last time she's done it. She's done it in February and she's done it almost in March. She went back to Gonzo twice. She gave my kids' names to fucking Jeff Henson. So why is it okay to do that? It's not none because of it's okay. Would you it's be just, forgiving? If Jeff had your social security number, I'm willing to bet he found your kids' names on his own. Okay, so then I guess we're at a disagreement then. Because you know what? She blast once she went on there and she exposed my kids' names because she knew them. She gave it to Jeff Henson. That motherfucker started putting that shit on his donation scroll. So explain that to me. So whether or not he had it or not, how does that make fucking goddess a saint all of a sudden? You know, would you be happy and forgiving to that person that no, fucking blasted your son's no, name or your no, daughter's name no, out there? So how can you come up to me there, and tell me I what to do? Name out there right away. And he already did that. That's the point, Kenny. It's done. Like it's done. He did it. So But I didn't do shit tonight. That's the thing. You're you're no, it's, you're it's blasting me out on fucking Twitter, making me a fucking Gonzo broadcast. I don't know. You're blasting me out, making it a doxing party when you don't even know the situation. When I actually reached out to her, I said, You want to come back on the show? It'd be great. It'd be great to have a reunion. That's it. That's all I'm talking about. Of course. And then she said no, so then you don't have the show and you move on. Well, we're trying to move on, but you come back in here and you're you're talking again. So I don't know. 
What do you want to do? I, I mean, like, well, I, don't, I guess whatever I do is wrong because everything I've done. Here, so I thought I would come here and defend myself. All right, then. I don't know. I'm not. I guess what I've done with this community was just help people or try, I thought I did. But all of a sudden, I'm a doxer. Everybody in this community now thinks I'm a doxer because I, all I do is throw doxing parties for some reason. Damn, I I've just put out people's social security numbers. I put out people's addresses. But they blast out my children's addresses and their social security numbers. Okay, and their ever. fucking phone numbers. And they put no, out my ex-wife's number. They put out my sister's number. They put out my fucking parents' information. But that's cool because I ain't in the motherfucking sex industry for some reason. I'm in the goddamn wrong industry, I guess. I guess I'm not protecting. My, oh my kids God, aren't protected. My sister's not protected. Like, Nobody's this is protected. This way over the top, Jimmer. People don't say your children's name every time they mention you. When have I ever every said Every time you mention Goddess, Goddess you say her name. That is the difference here. Oh, okay. So it, it's the if amount of times you say that, then it. Then there's nothing really to talk about. Like, okay, I didn't know there was amount of times you have to say a name, I guess. I think we're all getting upset for something that's as if I've done it for how many how many months have I do uh, every fucking night to come on here how many times that I haven't mentioned her name zero I don't even remember the last time I've even mentioned goddess but somebody in the community thought it would be a good idea so I thought oh yeah it would be great to actually pull up some clips it's her birthday let's see if she would call in we had this with Hanzi we had with this with like multiple people that are are you know people that have been with the show from the past from the beginning and that was the only objective here there was no doxing party that i was trying to fucking put up you know like i can't defend myself you know i'm getting battered from every fucking angle here i never said that you led the show with her real name that was all I, I that's, honestly that's was stupid enough to think that Goddess was coming on and you were I having a genuine be... birthday party for her. Shows how blonde I am, clearly. So I came in to say <laughs> happy birthday, and the first thing I hear is her real name. Well, there's no way to expect that Goddess would ever be able to come back in here with everybody in chat, with everybody that knows clearly her. Clearly not. Her, her name not come up. It just would. Everybody in here knows who her, what her real name is. It's just happened. She threatened to kill us all. It all happened. It all went down. Why would Jimmer be having a real birthday party for Goddess? Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just a gag. Uh, everybody knew it was point. a joke. So like I much, said. Who would expect it? Clearly, I'm okay. blonde. I didn't no, know. Honey, you're, you're, you're <laughs> it has no nothing fine. to do with that. I understand where you're coming I mean, from, and you're fine. There's nothing to do. All right. I just didn't lead off with the show with her name, but I'm not going to deny that I said her name once or twice. That's For the it. Record, I don't know. I didn't her name. say it to I fucking say, ha, ah, go, go after this person. You know, people were fucking saying in the chat, but you know, okay, maybe, maybe I did that wrong. But it wasn't no doxing party. That wasn't the whole fucking point at all. So. I, I, you no. said it, Jimmer, Jimmer and him, uh, I know this. You said it once, and then what happened, what made it worse, is a few people in the in the YouTube chat started typing it in, and it just got – it kind of got a little out of control. And, again, whatever. I mean, but, you know, I, I tried to keep it so that that was your decision and just try to stop it in, in the other – you know, in the other different areas and – and it kind of just spun out of control. And then Audrey came in and, you know, I mean, that's, that's what happened. I, I think it's just, you can agree to disagree and, and move on. I mean, I think, you know, I, I understand what Jessica's saying. I understand what you're saying. It's, it was an unintentional occurrence. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I, I could say Jessica. I think the other thing is you could tell me if I'm wrong. I, I saw exactly when you came on, you heard that old recording from six months ago. Did you think at any point that was live when you were listening? At first I did. And then I heard Hans and I knew I there was no way it was live. I could tell because you made a comment. You go, what the fuck? And, and I even made a comment to ASMR guy. I go, I think Jessica thinks this is live. And then I, I commented to you. So when you came in, you heard me screaming yeah, i did <laughs> yeah i i got it i i could see what you were what you were walking into or you know what you came on to and i think that put you right off right away and then after that jimmer mentioned he did mention her name i i know exactly when he said it once 
I don't think his intention was to was to like what you I, I'm just saying I'm not saying it's right or wrong I'm just saying I don't think his intention was to you know get people to look up her private information but then people in the chat kind of then they started typing it and then it just became I mean I saw it as it was going on and it it just that was kind of how it just kind of it's like a snowball rolling down a hill it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and you know it was a misunderstanding and a, about 60 percent misunderstanding and the other part i think you just got to agree to disagree i mean i think that's you know i don't think they're you know jessica i, I know you're a nice person Trevor nam's a great person i just think it's a misunderstanding most and for, of and for goddess to come back in here she would have to have a sense of humor about the whole thing there's no way she couldn't that, that that's the only way that would ever work for her to come back in here and talk and entertain and and try to be a part of anything again she'd have to accept it she, because she everyone wants to be it. in here she exactly she, she doesn't want to yeah and that and that's fine that's her decision no and i get all i get you know you know i think this is a disagreement between Jimmy nam and jessica and i and i look they each have their own viewpoints on it you know, but I, I think it just started off that way and that kind of made it made things a little bit worse. You know. This is uh you know, I saw someone just said in chat, this is Jimmer's show and he can do it do it however he likes. So if that's how he wants to run his ship, that's fine. Yeah. I don't I know what that agree. means. Jimmer's intentions were good. I don't. I don't even know what that person, means. But... I mean, does that mean like I run a show that doxes people? Is that what you're saying, Jessica? I mean, <laughs> really? That's that's where it's come to. Sounds like it. Like no. uh, all I do is fucking don't say that at all, man. blast out people's social security number and their uh, addresses. I never said and their that you did numbers. that. I just asked that you stop. I asked I thought that was months a... ago that you stopped. I don't know what the, what is the definition of doxing. That I asked that you stop. And every single time since then, I've asked that you stop every using single. your real name, as I would for anyone here. Well, I think that's something you're going to have to let go because it's just she's so a part of from day one and everyone knows the situation. It's just it's nothing that's ever going to happen. Everybody, there's too many assholes out there. They're just going to keep typing it oh. chat every time her name comes up. I oh, I know. There's a difference between leading the show with her real name and people. I, I just don't have any chat. malicious intent. I've never had malicious intent against fucking Goddess Isako. If anything, I've been very appreciative of her. So... <laughs> That just throws the doxing right out the window. I don't have any ill will against her or malicious intent. So I don't know where this doxing thing came from. You know, if you want to be doxed, go fuck with uh, Jeff Henson and, and uh, Jack Nugent. They'll dox the shit out of you. Well, I mean, if you, you really want to feel doxed. her arrest records, her full name, her date of birth, and her address. Those are all public generally. information, but that's not even part of doxing. But you know what? When's the last time I did that? When she revealed my children's name? What would you do in that situation? I if, think if your actually, name... you did that no, first, be honest and with then me. she be revealed honest your with children's me. name. Oh, yeah, you know the timeline, Jessica? Show afterwards. After okay. the fact. So you know so the timeline? So I think timeline? you actually doxed right, her first. So I guess... I guess you're okay with it. All right, so cool. cool. I never said I was okay with it. No, the goddess started this shit. She because you know the timeline? Because you, you were in my shoes that time. You were battling Gonzo and Jeff Henson and, and fucking Jack Nugent at that time. You have a $5 million lawsuit against you. You you have a complaint against you, a legal complaint against you, that you know the timeline when all this shit went down? Excuse me? I mean, answer me, please. I would like to know. Yeah. I, I can't you know do the this timeline. Time. Yeah, you know the exact timeline, really, because you have a five if million dollar lawsuit take against you. Responsibility for your contribution in all of it, Jimmer. Then you're a lot more immature than I thought you were. And what did night. I do? What contribution did I have? Yeah, I don't see it either. I, I, he could have looked over at chat and saw the These people name attacked me from day out, one. It did. He didn't no, these that. people I mean, attacked me from did. day fucking one, these people. These people fucking came to my house from day one. Yeah, Jimmer, we Three need to Three people on came this. to my goddamn house. Yeah, no, this is going to be the rest of the show, obviously. Jimmer, who came to your house? I'm just yeah, wondering. I don't fucking know, but people were calling me. Fucking Hype Jerick was calling me. They're all coming. They, they had people come to my motherfucking house that fucking night that I quit Gonzo. And all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy because I'm fucking fighting back. Because I no got bullied. I got now. harassed. So I just think that. 
it's best that I just, you know, I, I appreciate everything from everyone here. You're stepping away? Yeah. I think that's what I need to do. So you're not going to do a show tomorrow night? No. No. And uh, Kenny, thanks, stop. Kenny. Kenny, oh my God. Look, Jessica, I appreciate everything that you've done. And all I can say is I have a lot of respect for you and love for you. And, and that's all I can say, you know? Well, I mean, and likewise, I, you know, likewise. And that's and it. Jessica, so, I, would I don't hope know you where would you change your mind on this because this is particular to one person and one person only. This is not about all people, all, all the people that are on this show. This is about one crazy bitch that threatened us all, that scared us all that upset us all and it's just out there now and there's nothing that can be done about that i would really hope that you would reconsider your decision me too I hope you're really but like i said dude I'll, I'll be a little protective here you know when you put yourself out in public like this dude think you expect this shit to happen because you're going to run into people that aren't going to like you you know when you do a show or do something like that and put yourself out public and uh you know i don't want to see jessica in that position you know i have a lot of respect for her. I really appreciate everything that she's done. She, ha she didn't have to do shows with me ever. But she was gracious enough to take that opportunity and do that for everybody in, in, in the community. So all I can say is I have love for you and respect for you. And that, that's all I can say. So there's nothing bad more. I can I, say I about really do. I love you've you so never much. been the enemy and you're still not. So I don't even know where, you know, you're getting... You know, I'm shitting on. No, I've had enemies, man, from the from way back when, and I'm still battling. And this is just part of the fucking Jessica, game. I hope you're reconsider. If not, it's been great. And and my wife even loves you, so you can't leave. Please, God, don't. Oh my God. Okay, guys, we need we need to like. This needs to like we have to let this go for tonight because this is just. It's we just do. I think we're that was profound. A good conversation about each other. I don't know. <laughs> so she just leaves. Oh God, Kitty. Christopher, you have anything to weigh in? I think his mic's down. Uh -oh. I'm really excited. Are you there, buddy? There she is. Oh my! I can't believe my ears.